Okay guys, we got this 2016 Chevy Cruze with a couple issues. Um, one specifically that has the surface engine light on is the infamous P1101 code. It's a generic code guys, but it's pointing towards the mass airflow sensor, which is not normally the case. I've worked on a Sonic before and hopefully what I did to the Sonic will work for this situation. And I'll show you guys that in a second, but we're gonna pop the hood. First thing you wanna do is pop the trunk. and show you guys well. I wanna disconnect the battery just in case you don't have a high tech code scanner, we wanna to try to get the system to relearn itself. I'm not gonna erase the codes. I'm not gonna clear the codes at all on the uh, vehicle. I'm gonna to try to let the system relearn itself by disconnecting both battery cables. You wanna take this cardboard, you wanna take this carpeted board out the trunk or trunk liner, kind of move it to the side. And uh, the negative and positive battery terminals we're going to take both of them off push them to the side while we're working under the vehicle uh, this car has sustained some damage to the front um, but um to pop the hood the hood still functions correctly uh, we're going to come in here pull it once when it lets up pull it oh it's not blurry pull it once when you hear it pop up you pull it again, it's going to open up. See? Two times. It'll be open. So, let's, dis let's, let's disconnect the battery before we start working on the vehicle. Um, just try to remedy the problem without buying any parts. The goal for this is to try to save on parts by just using uh, some cleaners and an air filter replacement. I'm almost positive this is the original air filter in this car. This car has 104,000 miles. I'll flash cross screen right now and show you guys also the surface engine light is still on. I'm not gonna erase it. 104 miles. Surface engine light on. We're gonna leave that on. Gonna get some gas. Uh, the code points towards the mass airflow sensor, but that's not typically the case. It's it's most likely a carbon buildup in this throttle body. But we're gonna see, we're gonna move this duct and get it cleaned out and see what's going on. These are 10 millimeter. Just wanna break the seal. Move this out of our way. Okay, we can leave those like that. Now let's go get to the front. Let's remove this electrical connector. I'm gonna shift this red safety clip up. We're gonna remove that. There's some Phillips screws along this housing. We're gonna get those off. So we're gonna get this out, check the effort out. Let's move this back right now. There's one more under this duct, directly under here. So we're gonna try to get this out of here right now. Filter. So, you gotta press in, step one, press in here on this tab here. You know, it's at the same time. And step two is 
pull forward. Like so. Look at this thing, guys. So this is the first thing we're gonna do. Here's the new one in comparison, guys. And look at this. So we actually can expect the mass airflow sensor without removing it. It looks brand new. The air mass flow sensor looks new, even though looks don't mean anything. This thing looks brand new, guys. And it's, it's a Bosch, it's not an off brand. So I'm not gonna remove it. We're just gonna do some cleaning and see what we got. And then we're gonna do the throttle body. So let's pop the new filter in. We just kind of can set that in place, guys. We can set that in place. Let's pop the new filter in. Very simple. Slide it on there and just push it back. That's it. Locks in place. Okay, we can button this up. This is step one of our job. We're going to button this up now. This slips over that duct here. Once you get it over there, locks in place here. That's it. So we put this back on. I gotta find another safety clip for that. It's part two of the job. Let's remove this. Let's remove this cover. So this takes a special tool, but you can get a really flat, a really thin flathead screwdriver, kind of get down in here. Twist it till it comes up. We're gonna try to just remove this duck over some, go out of our way.
Okay, guys. Just got it holding on by that screw. Remove that hose off of this little brace. It's pretty. There's a carbon build in there. And this may be our problem uh, with the air filter as well. Yeah, it's pretty dirty around that lip. So I'm not gonna remove it. I can remove it and clean it. And I may just do that, guys. I don't have a gasket. That's my only concern, me not having a gasket. So you know what, guys, let's take it off. They look like some, there's some 10 millimeter bolts. The gasket should be reusable. If not, we'll go buy another one, but let's take it off. So we're gonna I'll push that back, guys. We're gonna undo this. There's another safety clip. back out of our way and get those four 10 millimeter screws all right guys let's remove this throttle body i'm losing light and it's nice out got a swivel 10 millimeter using my impact Pull the camera So we're gonna pull it out this way. Gasket look okay. We're gonna remove that gasket and clean it. But we're gonna clean this first. Let's get a take it, get a closer look at this. Yeah. Yeah, look at that. Let's get the light, show you guys that. Look at that, guys. We got to clean this right now. As you can see we like new guys. We're gonna wipe the surface of that gasket clean, guys, and then we're gonna go back on with it. Looks to be fine.
Okay, guys. I tighten them down. There, this corner first, then that corner, then that corner, then that corner. Snug them down, guys. I just snug them down. Now let's get the torque specs. Let me plug that up and um, start the vehicle and see what happens. Okay, guys. The torque specs for these are uh, 10 nm or 89 inch pounds, or that's around seven, a little, a tad over seven foot pounds. So let's torque these down right now. So 10 nm, 89 inch pounds, or a tad over seven foot pounds. All right, guys, we're torqued down. All right. We're locked on in place. Let's put this in. God, it's getting dark on me. It's getting dark on me. <laughs> All right, that's locked on. Uh, before I put the cover on and, and put everything back. Uh, let's connect the battery back, guys. And then we're gonna Start it up. We're gonna start it up. We're gonna start. I actually locked myself out the trunk, guys. So I have to let the back seat down to gain access to the battery. It's probably better to get it from here. Anyway, it's right in your face. I just get these tightened down. We're gonna get, we're gonna start the vehicle, guys. All right, the battery is back connected. Let's first start together, guys. First start together. Let's see what we get. Let's see what we get. Key forward. Remember, I didn't erase. I didn't erase any codes. By removing that battery, guys, like that, you may have to fix your presets over for the radio. But um, our goal was uh, so the system could relearn itself and see what a code arise from our fix. Sounds good. So far, so good. So maybe another flawless uh, job under our belt. So let it run for a minute before I put the cover on. Be back in a second. Saving camera space, and it's gotten, getting dark on me. All right, guys, we're back. I'm let it. Uh, I'm not gonna take it for a drive. Uh, I think we're perfect. So, with that being said, guys, um, I really believe it's a wrap. About to go test drive. If anything occurs um, within me test driving right now it will be after me <laughs> closing this video out but i think we're perfect well we need some gas that's what we need so i'm gonna go put some gas in this thing and drive around heat it up um i'll let her do her presets all over again but um i'm pretty sure the system i relearned itself really really quickly guys so guys i hope you found this video helpful um subscribe to the channel Got more awesome content coming. Hit the notification bell so you got to be notified when I upload new content. Uh, another flawless job on our belt. Tearing some out.